Creating flashcards may be one of the easiest ways to help us learn new terminology. So how can you combine the power of artificial intelligence and a flashcard tool such as Quizlet to do this very quickly? Here's an example. I'm going to start by going here to ChatGPT and I have a prompt here that I prepared earlier and it says, act as an English to Spanish conference interpreter doing research before an assignment. The conference will be about hazardous waste management. Prepare a comma separated CSV file with the 20 most common technical terms for this topic. And let's see what we get. While that is happening, of course, we could get a table or a list of terms, but in this case, I need a CSV file because I am going to copy paste this information into Quizlet. And I see that it's uh, giving me the list here with numbers. I'm just going to go here and say, remove the numbers and make sure it's a CSV file and see if it will fix that. Well, in any case, I just need to copy paste. So that's perfectly okay. And I'm just going to wait for that to finish. I'm going to select all of that and copy to my clipboard. I want to go to BART. This is not necessary, but just um, as an example of a different tool that we can use to do the same thing. So I'm just giving it the same prompt and see what it will do. And I see that Bard is giving me this um, table. And let me just say that I need a CSV, a comma separated CSV file. I'm just going to say please to be nice to the tool and wait for it to, and there it is. So here I have it now. I'm going to, I don't know if some of these are the same as what we got from chat GPT and they say they seem to be different. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put these into on my clipboard and now I'm going to go to Quizlet and you can go to Quizlet by going to quizlet.com and Quizlet is this platform or website that allows you to create your own flashcards to memorize things. You can also share them with other people and you can use um, flashcard sets that have been created by someone else. So I'm going to click here to create a new study set and I am just going to call it waste management and click on the import button and then it's not truly an import feature but it's a copy paste feature. So I'm going to paste here the terms that I got from the two tools. And as with anything that we get from an AI, it's a good idea to go through these terms and validate them to make sure that they are correct. But for now, we're just going to focus on creating the flashcards. You can see that these uh, here at the bottom, these would be the, um, the sections of the flashcards. This is the front and this is the back. And for now I have both terms on the front of the card. I don't want that. I want uh, the English term here and the Spanish here. So that's easily fixed by selecting the comma option here because these are comma separated. And now I have everything there and I can say import and give it a moment and then create and then just wait um, until Quizlet is done creating the study set, which should not take very long. It's ready now. It only took like one or two minutes and I have my cards here. So I have the card. If I click on it, I will, it will be flipped and I can see what's on the back of the card. I can go to the next card and do the same thing. I can listen to the English or Spanish pronunciation by clicking on this button here. I can star a card. I can edit the card if I need to add something to it or change something. And what's very interesting about Quizlet is that I can um, choose to do these learning activities or testing or um, even games to learn the, um, the terminology. And well, this is how you create um, a flashcard set on Quizlet. 
it's this is the free version there is also a paid version that has more features that you can take advantage of but this was just a quick demo of how in five minutes or less you can create a set of flashcards that you can use to study now and since these are kept in your quizlet account you can come back to them and study them later or even share them with someone else